see, which is a fantastic film. Um, certainly one of the most interesting of the year, and um, one that I think we will carry forward to future years as a beautiful memory. Um, and to introduce tonight's screening, um, I would like to welcome on stage um, fantastic director, star, and co author of it, Steve Oram. In Yorkshire, this is our Yorkshire premiere. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, so, uh, hello. You probably know about the film. There's no, um, there's no dialogue in it. So, uh, if you're looking for a witty banter and that, you find basically. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's really cool. Thanks, thanks for coming out and supporting my film. You know, we were taking this around the country, and it's all self-funded. Um, and we're just showing it in one of the dates around the country, and uh, it's apparently come out at 11 o'clock tonight to see. It's going to be ace. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, 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 oh. Cheers. Yeah, so it was a long, a long process. Um, uh, I've just always found it fascinating how like apes we are, um, and you know, like now, you know, you, you clapped at the end. What was that all about? And like we like, what we're we doing now? You know, I'm here, and oh god, it's weird, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and uh, um, uh, so, I, yeah, I kind of did a short film based on the idea. Where they, it was based on the bit where the girls go on the rampage and bite Niles penis off. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a sort of very long organic process. And, when, and what, as soon as you as soon you put that on screen where people aren't speaking but they're doing the same kind of similar things, it really brings things into a into a uh, puts things into a strange perspective. Blue Remembered Hills, I don't know if anyone's ever seen that, but that's a a, a programme, Dead Spots of Play, where all, all the adult actors speak, they're, they're, like, they're, they're dressed like kids and they speak like kids. And that just totally profound, profoundly astonishing piece of work. And this is kind of one filthy step further. Yeah, it was all written, it was all written in English. And uh, uh, it was really, it was written in English, but I always knew that no one would ever hear these words. You know, it was just for, just for us, it was just a guide. So that's why they say it's all funny because I have a freedom in writing it, and it's always just it's just total bollocks, you know, <laughs> stuff that came up with just to make just to make scenes have a shape and have everything, um, uh, you know, have a purpose and make sure that the, the, the statuses were correct in each scene. Um, yeah, we threw it away on the day. It was difficult. The, the language side of things was the di most difficult part of this film was because. You had to get the right balance, the right tone, so it didn't feel too jokey, it didn't feel too gibberishy, it didn't feel too kind of normal. Um, and it was just a process of a workshopping process with this, this, this the, the words in the script were just a guide, but we just workshopped how everyone was going to do it. Everyone did it differently. Some people were like, oh, and other people were like, <laughs> and all that. I think language is a incredible way of normalising uh, behaviour, extreme behaviour, and it's a very socialising thing that we have that animals don't have. Whereas if you slightly take it away, you, you, you have to express these things in a kind of more brut brutal way. You might be extremely intelligent, but, um, but you're, the expression of what you know, language is replaced by having shit on the floor or having, or smashing someone in the face with a, with a, with a, a, a magazine. So it's, um, yeah, I mean, I, I've, 
I think what everything in that film is really, there's nothing there that we don't do. It's just a slightly hearty version of our world. <laughs> I, I think what I'm interested in is the way that we cover things up with language. And we, you know, the fact that we, we don't acknowledge that we are ape-like because we've created this social, incredible, incredibly complicated social structure which is all about language and about how we interact with each other, which is all about language and words and writing and everything. You know, the internet now with all whatever's going on there. <laughs> you know, the gibber, gibbering, constant gibbering, and it kind of puts us in a strange, uh, sort of a weird, like we're gods, you know, we're, we're in a weird headspace of uh, ima the imagination. That's what, that's what language does. Without it, we're more basic. So, but the imagination can still create violence. <laughs> you know, it's a lot goes on still, isn't there? Even though, you know, Jeremy Paxson does news now. I mean, he's a violent bastard, isn't he? Imagine him, you know. He'd be a right cunt, wouldn't he? <laughs> Ripping people's arms off. So, you know, with sightseers, we, we went down that route of traditional funding route. It took, took about six years to get a bloody thing made. So this was, I wanted to do this quickly. And I did go to um, <laughs> uh, one of the big, one of the big production companies and showed them the script. They told me it was the funniest script they'd ever read. And I went, it's, yeah, it worked for time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, went, I went, yeah, it's the fun. I went, oh yeah, cool, let's, let's, do you want to make it then? And they went, nah, we can't do that. <laughs> We've just done late miss. <laughs> they can't, they're not going to have that and lay Miz on our fucking website. <laughs> so, so uh, but I, I kind of knew that would be the way, and, uh, but that, but, you know, it's a, it's a, it galvanised me to just fucking make it because this industry is so annoying and turgid and it's very obstructive, obstru you know, after doing sightseers and it doing really well and making money for lots of people, it's like going back to square one. It's like I hadn't done it, you know, and so this was, I thought, oh yeah, we'll be able to get something made and then kind of know, not be, you know, we'll just go back to the same process that take five years. Oh God, fuck that shit. I'm like, you know, life's too short. So it was great to do, I did it in a year. We filmed this last summer and cut it and did all the post-production. So this, this has taken a year to do, which um, is, I'm really, Proud of and it's worked out all right, and people seem to like it, which is great. <laughs> um, so. I think the cast is an incredible mixture of people who you see so often and are fantastic, and then it's incredibly strong supporting cast of people who get the impression are probably very known in the industry, but maybe a little bit less familiar. Um, how fun was it to put together this cast? It was great because well, I wrote, I wrote most of the parts were written for everyone, for the people who actually did the parts in the, in the end. They're all my mates. Well, I've been doing live, live comedy with for ages, like Tom and Sean Reynard. Fucking comic genius, but no, he, he's a really, he, he um, doesn't really act or doesn't work in the industry. The guy who, uh, just, oh, does that, you know, <laughs> you know the one. Long haired, long haired brute, but he's a genius. And then, uh, and yeah, just, it's a, you know, it's a collection of friends and, that, that made it very fun because I knew, I knew they'd all, I kind of, when you're writing part of someone and you know that Mark probably do it, they, um, that, that makes you write, that makes you kind of want to really embarrass them and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, get Julian to take his clothes off in the woods. <laughs> and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm kind of, it's funny, it's fun. I want to say thank you for coming out tonight. It's really, uh, really supporting this independent film in a brilliant cinema and we really appreciate it and uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Thanks Please, for coming. When you leave today, go to sleep for a while, but then tell your friends that this film is available, watch on demand online. Please, because I think there's so many shit films being made that aren't interesting. An interesting film should be seen. So tell your friends that, but in better words. Yes, video, yes, that's right. Amazon, do a search on Amazon, do a search on iTunes, Virgin, we're on about 10 platforms, so if you get online, you can, you can
can download it for three pound fifty, four pound fifty, rent it, you know, <coughs> and tell your friends. Yeah, so uh, yeah, don't tell Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, thanks for coming.